Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today and we are back and today we are celebrating a little bit of Batman. This weekend was Batman Day. I actually realized I did not have a video set up for that, but we can still celebrate two days later uh, and I actually have a really cool uh, Funko Pop kind of collector's edition box for Batman that I have not opened up yet. So I thought today would be a great time plus for Batman Day, some brand new Funko Pops have been announced from Funko. Lots of Funko Shop exclusives. I'm super excited for them, uh, especially in a couple of them that I'm so pumped that they were announced for sure. So we're going to go and take a look at all of them today as well. Before we jump into it, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and leave a like in the video. Definitely helps us out and I very much appreciate it. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and do half unboxing, half of that news. So we're going to go and start with that unboxing today. And the one that we're going to be taking a look at is actually the collector's edition uh, Bat Batman Beyond the Animated Series Blu-ray and Funko Pop set. Now, this is really cool. I always really liked Batman Beyond. I remember watching it when I was younger. Don't love the animation now. You know, it could be a little bit better now as an adult. But I really like the story. I love the story of, you know, a kind of a younger kid coming in, meeting Batman, the older Bruce Wayne, and Batman really can't do it himself anymore. So now he finds the next one, and there's not necessarily a Robin there to do so. So I actually really like that story and being a little bit more futuristic uh, kind of look. Of course, a lot of things in that show back when it was made in the 90s aren't necessarily futuristic today, but it's still actually just a really cool show and I would love for them to make an update, you know, whether it's live action or another animated version of it now with today's kind of thought of what the future is. I think that would actually be really cool. Some of the technology they can make, I think it would be fantastic. And it seems like they could maybe be doing something like that in the future as a live action movie, maybe on HBO Max with them doing a lot of new movies there, um, like the uh, recently announced Batwoman, uh, or rather uh, Batgirl that they could be doing there. So that would be really cool. Uh, so yeah, I would love to see more Batman Beyond. And we are going to see more Batman Beyond when it comes to Funko Pops too. When we get to the uh, new segment a little bit later. But let's go ahead and pop this open here. I've actually had this for a little bit and never opened it. And I know I wanted to open it on camera. But I didn't do it for the longest time. Uh, and I actually um, have been watching... A decent amount. I actually rewatched like the first two seasons of uh, Batman Beyond on HBO Max, and so I'm like, I haven't been even even been using the Blu-ray set, but I think it's just a cool collector's item, and I still get Blu-rays from time to time, even though I watch everything on streaming. But when we take it out of the wrapping, we can see nice box, little gloss on it too, a little matte finishing, which is awesome in the logos on the side and on the top. I really like that. And then on the back, you can actually see everything that's going to be included. Of course, in the front, you can see that Funko Pop, and then you have the uh, Blu-ray. It also comes with a digital code, which I bought this from someone else, and so the digital code is no longer valid, but it's on HBO Max, so I don't really care about that. But the Funko Pop definitely is why I got this, because the price that I paid for it is pretty much I about what the Funko Pop is uh, worth now. I know the value has kind of gone down and up a little bit, but... You know, it's definitely still a cool pop, and it's my first Batman Beyond Funko Pop. I know they've put out, I think, three so far, so I'm really excited to get this. But let's go ahead and unbox this whole thing and see what we have in here. So it looks like we have a little book, and it also comes with the Blu-ray. So the Blu-ray looks really awesome there. I like that. And when you take it out, looks like you have a little bit of artwork. Uh, so you actually have kind of the uh, Return of the Joker. So there's the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Uh, I think it's kind of like a movie. Uh, so that's really cool there. We have Joker on the back. And then you open it up and you actually have the kind of f the robots from the, actually from like one of the first episodes I think kind of shows up. So that's really cool artwork there in the middle. It kind of is glossy and matte with the uh, city, with the city in the background, kind of that futuristic Gotham. That's pretty cool. And then you have four different discs, no, six different discs of all of the se seasons. And then I think also a um, special features one as well. No, that's the re Return of the Joker, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker that we see there. And then all of the other seasons. So that's actually a really cool setup for 
that Blu-ray, so I like that a lot. And then it also comes with the little digital code, and it tells us everything that comes in with some special features. And then you have uh, the different three different seasons on there too, so that's awesome. And then uh, you also comes with this little thing here. So these are going to be original animation artwork on Lecticolor collector's cards. So that's actually really awesome. So you can kind of see here, I'm actually not gonna open up all of them here, but you might be able to see, I'm not sure how the camera's gonna show, but they are some pretty cool artwork there, some animation uh, cells. So that's awesome. It's actually 3D kind of holographic. So really, really cool. And then of course, what we all came here to see today, Batman Beyond Chrome Deluxe Chrome figure. So this is amazing. Now it says Deluxe, I guess because it's Deluxe exclude deluxe edition uh from the yeah, being in the set but it's not a deluxe as in a six inch pop but it's also all, just definitely really really cool i love that suit i love the look the grin on his face that looks so awesome and the chrome you kind of just see it all shiny that is fantastic i love the logo there that batman beyond logo is always really cool to me i really wish they did a little bit more with him uh, but I cannot wait to see more of uh, Batman Beyond in Funko Pop form and hopefully more in some movies and TV shows. So that's really awesome. So let's go ahead and throw this. I actually have a uh, protector sitting right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him in there right away. Make sure he is protected. And there we go. Batman Beyond in a protector. And he'll definitely go up on the shelf right away for sure. So I love that so much. And not only am I so excited to have this pop in my collection now, I'm so excited for all these new Funko Pops that was announced this weekend for Batman Day. Batman Day was actually on Saturday, but all these Pops are set. they said coming soon. Sometimes that can mean the next day. Sometimes that can mean two months from now. Or as we actually just recently saw with uh, Pietro Maximoff uh, from WandaVision, those Pops uh, said it was coming out in March. And I don't think it came out until like May. And then they said restock coming soon. Restock didn't come until just this week, this past week, September. Uh, so who knows when it could come out, but hopefully it comes out very soon. Hopefully it doesn't you know, happen right now. So hopefully I can get them. But they do have some brand new pops, including this guy, uh, Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Uh, they have a brand new crouching Batman Beyond pop, which is really cool. Uh, the other previous Batman Beyond Pops have all kind of been like this, where he's just kind of standing. I think there was one where he was holding a Batarang in his hand. Um, but I think that was like one of the convention exclusives. Besides that, it's this one, and then there's the other older mode, which is the same thing, just not Chrome. Uh, so it's cool that they're now having an updated uh, Batman Beyond Pop. I'm super excited to grab that. That is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. Now we're also going to have another die cast Funko Pop. Our first one we got was Captain America during FunCon. We did show that off here in the channel. Make sure you go check out our FunCon unboxing video. If you do want to check that out, it's really cool. So I'm glad that they're doing some more. I know they're doing an Iron Man. It's also really cool to see they're doing a Batman one. That one's going to look great next to uh, Captain America. I'm gonna have to get those and then make my own little uh, shelf or bookcase displaying all of them because eventually they're gonna grow to be so many different diecast pops, just like they did with all the black lights. So this uh, Batman eight nine Batman eighty nine pop is going to be that diecast one. So that's pretty cool. Getting that Michael Keaton Batman Funko pop. Now we're also gonna be seeing a another Batman pop. This time it is actually going to be an art series. So we actually saw last year, I believe, it was a bunch of Target exclusive Batman art series pops. I think this one's way better than the other ones because I think that one was going to be more kind of based on not necessarily 1966, kind of that more classic uh, comic book uh, colors that they had, like the panel colors. Um, but this one's a lot better. It's going to be that gray and with the black bass all over him. So that's going to be actually really cool. I actually like that one a lot. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. I probably will because whenever we go to Funko Shop exclusive this is there I'm gonna grab it uh, so that one might be a pretty cool one and then also from Batman Beyond we do have the Joker King which is actually a character that I think that shows up pretty early on in Batman Beyond if I'm not mistaken I think sometime in the first season 
where it's kind of this new guy that come, comes in as a Joker. They have this Joker uh, squad or this Joker kind of gang, and he is the Joker King uh, in charge of that little gang there. So that's pretty cool that they have Joker King coming out there as well from Batman Beyond. And then finally, Batman Beyond, probably what I'm most excited about is the Batman Beyond Soda, and they do have a chase with it as well. So I have been really getting into sodas recently. Been doing, I think we did like two or three recent uh, soda unboxings on the channel, and I do have a few more coming in like October, November, December. So we've been getting this roll, and now that I'm gonna be able to get some more sodas and Batman Beyond Soda, I'm super pumped about it. If I can get all of those pops, that'd be awesome, but I definitely want the Batman Beyond ones for sure, and I gotta add it to this pop here. And then I think they also announced some other stuff. Uh, they announced some like retro t-shirts, some Batman Funko tees as well. Uh, but really cool way to celebrate Batman Day. It's really cool to see some some new pops announced. I just wish they were released on the actual Batman Day. That would have been a lot better. Uh, but hey, we were out, able to open this one up and have this one in hand for Batman Day this year to celebrate, so that is really cool. Now, I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think, number one, about this Chrome Batman Beyond Funko Pop? Do you guys have this little set here in your collection? Uh, or do you have any other Batman uh, Beyond Pops? And what is your favorite Batman Pop in your collection? But also, what do you think about the new Batman Pops that were announced from Funko? Are you going to pick any of them up eventually when they do drop? Let me know in the comments down below. It's a great time to be a Batman fan. Of course, I'm wearing my The Batman shirt. Can't wait for that movie with Robert Pattinson to come out. Uh, and you know with uh, Michael Keaton returning in the flash and then all these pops we were just and Zack Snyder's just sleeker this year and hopefully we get more Batfleck so much greatness happening with Batman right now and so definitely a great time to be a Batman fan for sure I do want to hear what you guys think about all the Batman stuff happening right now in those comments down below and of course if you can hit that subscribe button go ahead and leave a like in the video definitely helps us out and I very much appreciate it but thank you guys so much for watching today and as always, we'll see you again real soon.